clicking client orders and edit client product pricing. If you can't see the product pricing menu, this probably means that you are currently viewing the image browser. So simply close the image browser and you will see the product pricing menu. To see your products and pricing, simply click on Select Labs. You can select from one or two or multiple different labs, depending on your supplier. If you are only going to use one lab, then we recommend Generic Standard, as this displays the generic standard print sizes that are standard in our industry. Additionally, you can select multiple labs and set multiple lab pricing at the same time. And then, under Type, you can select the type of product that you would like to price. One of the benefits of working this way is that you can select multiple types at the same time and price them all at the same time. For example, I can select canvas, wood, metal and acrylic and price them all at the same time. This black box indicates that this product size is active. By default, all product sizes are active, so deselect all by clicking here and then simply selecting the sizes that you wish to offer. And by default, you will only see one price showing for each specific size. So if you would like to add different pricing tiers for each specific size, simply toggle on Show Pricing Tiers and you can set your price for Tier 1, Tier 2 and Tier 3. For loose prints, you can see I only have active a very small range as we only wish to reprint 3x2 ratio. So we have only activated 4x6, 5x7.5 and 8x12. Because we bring in our data differently, we have to price horizontals and verticals separately. But you can show them the same in the Client Orders tab. You can see that on my 4x6s I have tiers, but on my 7.5x5s I do not. Once you are happy with your pricing structure, you can select Save. Remember, pricing of collections does not happen in here. This is pricing purely for bespoke and a la carte reprint options. A quick way to test your pricing is from the image browser. Simply select the image and click add print and then select the print size you require. As you see, I have many sizes here, more than what I activated in the previous video. This means I do not have the correct lab selected from this menu. To change this, simply click the edit and you are presented with the default labs. Find the lab in which you have set your pricing for and click save. I now am presented with the three options I've activated in the price setting. As you can see, 4x6 has this tab here, which means I have tiers, so tier one, tier two, and tier three, and the price changes accordingly. But in my five by seven and a half, I just have the one price set and it is locked in place here. To add the print, simply click Add. A quick reminder, to toggle between vertical and landscape images, simply click this icon here. To change your image from a single image to composites and collections, simply click the Layout tab. You've probably noticed that in our collections, composite tabs we have individual different composites depending on what you are offering to add selections to your collections or composites simply select the tab and you can remove and add simply by clicking on the download more I want to add the wedding wall art I simply hit choose and this downloads the wedding wall art onto my funny designer and you can now see that it has been installed and when I come back up to collections we now have the wedding wall art. As you can see 
from within these collections, we are faced with many different options. Each can be named individually. To do this, simply click on the Edit tab, type in what you'd like to call it, and then set your price here. You can also do this by selecting Client Orders, Edit Client Product Pricing, and selecting Wall Art Groups, and it's here you can select both your collection names and your composite names. Once you have selected and named both your composites and collections, you can come back and select these at any time. If you would like to add your logo to your client order, then simply select Client Orders, Edit Client Product Pricing, and select the Logo and Legal tab on the right hand side. We accept both PNG and JPEG logos. It's also from this tab that you can select your PDF paper size, depending on whether you'd like a letter or A4. It's here we can also show the customer thumbnails on the client order, show the prices and both hide any discount or credit line. To do this, simply check on and off in the tab. You can also add any legal requirements for approving the order such as file sizes and return policy. To show you what this looks like, let's go ahead and view the order. To view the order, simply click the logo at the bottom right here and this brings you back into the order and then select view order and here you will see our logo and pricing structure that we have set within our client order pricing menu. Now let's toggle off both the thumbnails and item pricing. We select save and go back into our view order and now you can see that both the pricing and thumbnails has been removed from the client order. Simply it shows our subtotal, any discount or credit, tax and the total of the order. To set your currency and tax rate within Fundy Designer, simply go to Client Orders and Edit Client Product Pricing. Here, the last tab is the tax stroke VAT. It is within this tab that you can select your currency symbol, tax and VAT rate, the name of the tax, and whether you want the tax to be added to the invoice total. So here in the UK, we select the pound sterling, we set our tax rate, and the tax name, depending on which country you are operating in, may need to be included for legal reasons. Here, it is simply known as VAT toggle the VAT rate on and off, click this item here and then hit save. And this concludes the product pricing, currency symbol and tax rate portion of this tutorial.